capacitor. A capacitor is an arrangement of two conductors which is separated by an insulating medium that is used to store electric charge or electric energy. So in simple words, right, I hope it is clear because like a tank. A tank is what? Is a device which is used to store water. So similarly capacitor here, it is an electric device which is used to store a charge. So when you store electric charge, it means at the same time you are storing an electric energy. So this is a capacitor. Okay, so capacitor is what? It is a device used to store electric charge or electric energy. And the pictorial symbol of a capacitor with fixed capacitance and with variable capacitance are shown to here. This is for fixed capacitance, which is the symbol, and this is the symbol for the capacitance with variable capacitor. Right? Now, we shall see here about a parallel plate capacitor. When I say parallel plate capacitor, I mean I have two capacitors. One is a positive plate, another is a negative plate. Alright? Now, these two plates here, they are having same area that is a so the area of each plate is a and the distance of separations between them let's say it is small d okay since we are talking about a surface here so therefore each plate should possess a surface charge density and the surface charge density right for each plate it is same it is sigma but the difference is only plus and minus for positive plate, we write plus sigma. For negative plates, we write minus sigma. Okay. And <clears throat> another consideration here is that each plate is containing same amount of charge, let's say Q. Positive plate is having a charge plus Q. Negative plate is having a charge minus Q. Okay. Okay. We have seen before that outside the pallet plates, right? That means in the outer regions of the plates, the electric field right at this region is zero. However, inside the power plate capacitor, the electric field is non-zero and it is equals to sigma upon epsilon naught. Okay, the directions of this field we know very well, it is directed from positive to negative. That means from positive plates to negative plate. Okay. Okay, so this is about the electric field inside the uh, parallel plate capacitor. Now, here I want to, <clears throat> to know about the capacitance, right, of a parallel plates. So in order to know about the capacitance, first I will calculate what is the electric potential, okay, between the plates of the capacitor. So now the potential difference, okay, the potential difference between the plates, okay, is equals to electric field times the distance between the plane that is v equal ed or v equal sigma by epsilon naught times d so if this is v then the capacitance of the parallel plate now it is written as c is equals to okay instead of instead of uh, you know okay this is sigma upon epsilon naught okay d but this sigma, as I told you, it is a charge, surface charge density. So for surface charge density, we write Q by A. So therefore, the capacitance which is Q by V, now instead of Q, I'll write sigma A. Instead of Q, I'll write sigma A. See, Q is equals to sigma A because Q is equals to, I mean sigma is equals to Q upon A. So now, cancelling sigma, sigma, then you get C is equals to epsilon naught A by D. So this epsilon naught, please note down here that <coughs> when we write epsilon naught, it means the space between the plate is empty. That means it is always air. So we can say it is air capacitor. Okay. Now, if the you know the space between the plates of the capacitor, let's say it is filled with a material, or yes, having absolute permittivity epsilon epsilon r then if the relative permittivity i mean if the relative permittivity is epsilon r then that 
capacitance of the pallet plate capacitor it will be equals to almost similar to this the only difference instead of absolute not now you write epsilon epsilon mean absolute permittivity of that medium or we can say cm here which is the capacitor of a medium is equals to instead of epsilon i will write epsilon not epsilon r because from the relation epsilon r is equals to epsilon by epsilon not okay so this is the expressions for the capacitance of a medium capacitor that means when the space between the parallel plate is not air but it is the other medium okay now what are the factors in which the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitors depend number one the capacitance of a parallel plate depends upon the area of the plate that means it is directly proportional to the area of each plate okay the more the area the more will be the capacitance the less the area the less will be the capacitance Number two, the capacitance of a parallel plate, it also, you know, directly proportional to the distance between the plate. The less the distance between them, the more will be the capacitance. But if the distance between the plate is large, then capacitance will be small. The third factor is permittivity of the medium between the plates, okay? Because I told you that the capacitance of an air capacitor right is different from the capacitance of a medium capacitor so therefore this capacitance here it is directly proportional to the absolute permittivity of the medium all right so these are the factors which determines the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor